Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. Week one, the NCAA college football season. Uh, we had the uh, week zero up. Um, the final game of week zero, there was, what, five games? For week zero, the final game is going on right now. It's currently 38 nothing Stanford. Um, so, I'm filming this Saturday night. It'll be up on Sunday. Um, looks like I was 5-0 and um, against the spread, 3-1 and over under, 3-1, and so good start to the season, I guess. Um, well, what I forgot to mention this in that week, last year, here at Robert Sports Show for the NCAA football, I went 239 and 97 in straight up picks against the spread, 155 and 172, and then over under 55 and 30 and 68. There's 130 teams in the FBS. What's amazing to me, out of the 130 teams, there's only 64 teams that are able to win a playoff spot. Uh, you have to be part of the Power Five to win go to the playoffs, which is the ACC, the Big 12, the Big 10, the Pac-12, and the SEC. So out of 64 teams in those five conferences, I'd go on a limb and say there's what, 20, 25 tops that have the ability to make the 14 playoffs and win the championship. So when that small a percentage of your league has the ability to make your playoffs, I think they need to do something a little different. I every year I come up with a different version of this, so we'll we'll get it up here a couple the next few or the next few weeks. Take in all the 130 FPS teams, redoing it, Just completely redoing it. The idea is to come up with five, I think it was five um, conferences, ten divisions. You would have 16 team playoff, no committee, no rankings, none of that. It's all done on the field. Ones and losses. You play your division, you play your uh, conference, that's it. Done. Everybody plays game one against the FCS as a preseason type game, and then you play your regular season games. So we'll get into that more when I do that video. This is going to be week one. Uh, I got 24 games here I'm doing. Um, probably over the fall here, I'll kind of narrow it down to like a select team that I'm going to follow. But for this week, we'll do 24. So first off, we have the uh, Florida International Panthers, they were 4 and 8 last year, versus the Central Florida Knights, who are 6 and 7. The University of Central Florida is favored by 17, with an over under of 56 and a half. I got the Knights winning, the Knights and the Panthers covering the 17 and over on the 56 and a half. Next, with the Buffalo Bulls, who were 2 and 10 last year, versus the Minnesota Golden Gophers, who are 9 and 4. I look at them having a big season in the Big Ten this year. The Big Ten should be pretty good this year. Uh, Minnesota's favored by 25 and a half. Points are 50 and a half. I have the Golden Gophers winning, covering the 25 and a half, and over on the 50 and a half. Next, we have the Tulsa Golden Hurricanes at 10 and 3 versus the 10th ranked Oklahoma State Cowboys, also 10 and 3. Cowboys are 18 point favorite with a point diff of 74. I got Oklahoma State winning the game. I have Tulsa covering the 18, picking under on the 74. We have a huge, huge Big Ten matchup here in week one. Second ranked Ohio State Buckeyes, 11 and 2, versus the 6 and 7 Indian Hoosiers. Oh, excuse me. Indiana can have a bounce back season this year. They could really seriously hurt the Buckeyes' chance of making the playoffs. Unfortunately, yeah, Ohio State wins this. They cover the 21 and over on the 56 and a half. Next, we have the Louisiana Monarch Warhawk, Warhawks at 4-8 last year. 
versus the 8 and 5 uh, Memphis Tigers. Memphis favored by 27 with a point depth of 67. I got the Tigers winning, covering, and under on 67. Next, we have the New Mexico State Aggies at 3 9 versus the Arizona State Sun Devils at 5 and 7. Arizona State favored by 23 and a half. With a 71 over the over under, I have the uh, Sun Devils winning the game. The Aggies covering the 23 and a half and under on the 71. Next, the Charlotte 49ers at 4 and 8 versus the Eastern Michigan Eagles at 7 and 6. Uh, Eastern Michigan favored by 14, over under of 56 and a half. I have the, excuse me, the Eagles winning, covering, and over on the 56 and a half. The eighth ranked Washington Huskies, 12 and 2 versus coming off a 12 and 2 season versus the Rutgers Scarlet Knights that come off a 2 and 10 season. Huskies favored by 30 and a half. I got them winning, covering, and taking over on the 52. Next, we have the Colorado State Rams who won in week zero versus the Colorado Buffaloes coming off a 10 and 4, 10 and 4 season. Uh, Colorado, the Buffaloes are favored by 6, and I got them winning, covering, and I'm taking over on the 63. Next, we have the Navy Midshipmen coming off a 9 and 5 season versus the Florida Atlantic Owls coming off a 3 9 season. Navy win, I got them winning, I got them covering. The, <sighs> Excuse me. I'm covering the 10 and a half and I'm taking under on the 68 and a half. Next we have the Utah State Aggies coming off a 3 9 season versus the 9th rank Wisconsin Badgers coming off a 11 and 3 season. Between the Badgers, the Minnesota Golden Gophers, the Penn State and the Lions, the Wolverines, Ohio State, that Big Ten is stacked this year. Uh, Wisconsin's favored by 28, over under 48 and a half. Got the Badgers winning, covering, and over under 48 and a half. Next, with the Boston e Boston College Eagles coming off a seven and six season, versus the Northern Illinois Huskies coming off a five and seven. Boston College. Boston College you get a three point favorite. I got them winning, covering and the over on the 46 points. Next we have the Akron Zips at 5 and 7 versus the 6th rank Penn State Nittany Lions 11 and 3 coming off a Big Ten title last year and not making the playoffs because of the three losses. Penn State favored by 32. I got them winning covering and I'm taking under on the 63 and a half. We have the Kent State Golden Flashes at 3-9 or coming off a 3-9 season. Versus the defending national champions, the fifth ranked Clemson Tigers, coming off a 14-1 season. Can they bounce back without Deshaun Watson? Well, they're favored by 38 and a half in Week One, and over under at 51 and a half. I have them winning, covering, and over on the 51 and a half. <sighs> Speaking of a top Big Ten team, we have the 11th ranked Michigan Wolverines at 10 and three. Versus the top SEC team, 17th ranked Florida Gators at 9 and 4. Michigan favored by 3.5. I have them winning, covering, and over on the 45. We have the University of Texas El Paso Miners at 4 and 8, coming off a 4 and 8 season. Versus the 7th ranked Oklahoma Sooners, coming off the 11 and 2 season. Oklahoma favored by 44.5, over under 62.5. I got a cover and an over on that for the Sooners. Next, with the Western Michigan Broncos at 13 1 versus the fourth ranked USC Trojans at 10 3. Here's why, part of why I brought up the only certain teams can win the national championship and an issue with that. You got the Western Michigan Broncos at 13 1. Don't even have a chance of making the 14 playoff because they're not part of the Power Five. Um, I got USC winning this, covering. I got Washington Michigan covering in 27 and a half and taking under on 58 and a half. We have the Appalachian State Mountaineers at 10 and 3 versus the 15th ranked Georgia Bulldogs at 8 and 5. I had Georgia favored by 13 and a half. I had them winning. I had Appalachian State covering in 13 and a half and taking over on the 45 and a half. All right, six games left. We have the 16th ranked Louisville Cardinals 
nine and, coming off a nine and four season versus the Purdue Boilermakers coming off three and nine. Louisville favored by twenty six. They got them winning, covering and under on sixty seven and a half. Next we have the Georgia Southern Eagles coming off a five and seven season versus the twelfth ranked Auburn Tigers coming off eight and five season. Auburn's favored by thirty five. I got them winning. I got them Georgia covering the thirty Georgia Southern excuse me covering the thirty five and over on the fifty four. Next we have the third ranked Florida State Seminoles coming off a ten and three season. ACC versus a Number one ranked Alabama Crimson Tide coming off 14 and 1 SEC season. This could be game of the week. Alabama favored by a touchdown at home over under 49 and a half. I got the <sighs> excuse me Crimson Tide winning covering and over on the 49 and a half. Next we have the BYU Cougars coming off a win in week zero. Versus the 13th ranked LSU Tigers coming off an 8-4 season. LSU favored by 13. I got them winning, covering the 13 and over on the 47 and a half. Battle of uh, Virginia. We have the 22nd ranked West Virginia Mountaineers 10-3 versus the 21st ranked Virginia Tech Huskies coming off a 10-4. Hokies, excuse me, Hokies coming off a 10-4 season. I got the Hokies. The Hokies are favored by four and a half. I have them winning. I have West Virginia covering the four and a half. I think it'll be a three point game. And I am taking over on the 52 and a half. And last but not least, the 25th ranked Tennessee Volunteers coming off a 9 and 4 season versus the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets coming off a 9 and 4 season also. Tennessee favored by four. I have them winning, covering, and under on the 56. So that will wrap up week one of the NCAA college football season. Stay tuned to our sports show for NASCAR Darlington Bojangles 500 preview. Um, the NFL week one preview come on Liberty Weekend and then obviously week two of the NCAA Liberty Weekend. And then if you're a WWE fan, the road to no mercy, the best of no mercy coming to our sports show. A lot going on this fall. Football season's upon us, as always. Thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. I'm done. Just have a great night. Have a spiffy night. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.